but with a but you know what but means unless nevertheless however contrary to that god has said made a statement you sin you perish you'll be punished but but if a man be just if you are just and do that which is lawful and right and on and on and on in one breath up to verse 9 it says he had walked in my statutes and had kept my judgments to deal truly he is just he shall surely live he shall not die saith the lord there is a way in the verse itself the evidence is self explanatory that god says look if you do wrong you will be punished but but same words it's a continuation but if you do this and do that don't commit adultery don't worship idols mm -hmm. you are just to people don't take usury interest don't take interest or in that case you will live you will not die physically everybody dies the sinner and the saint meaning dying in the sight of god means being destroyed spiritually spiritually you will not perish now this motto the soul that in its sinner shall die the bishop reproduced this in this book of his the bible basis of christian security page 36 he quotes again again he quotes the same phrase what he had quoted in the bible doctrine he quotes it on page 36 he says in it, if unconditional security is true then it follows that with the sinner the soul sins but with the backslider the flesh sins even though the bible places responsibility with the soul in saying the soul that sinneth it shall die ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20. it was 18:4. the same thing as a motif is reproduced it is being reproduced in verse 20 where it ends verse 4 ends with the soul that sinneth it shall die verse 20 begins with that expression to expound to you further give you a further elaboration of this topic and in verse 20 it says the soul that sinneth it shall die and Ezekiel didn't put a full stop he didn't know Ezekiel or Moses they didn't know about commas you know commas and full stop and colons and semicolons and quotes Moses didn't know anything about it and Ezekiel didn't know anything about it and Jeremiah none of these people knew about comma full stop semicolon colon uh, dash quotation they knew nothing about it 1820 the soul that sinneth it shall die doesn't stop there he says the, the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father father Adam sinned he made a mistake for which he was punished his children are not responsible for what father Adam did neither shall the father be the iniquity of the son in other words Adam's children today in America I'm told there are 25 million sodomites they call them gays God will not question Adam and say look at your children that rubbish you know what they are doing no no Adam is exempt from such reproaches God will won't ask us your father Adam had the forbidden fruit so you be punished for it he won't ask you why did you allow him to eat because you were not consulted nobody was consulted so God will not ask you and nor will he ask Adam about his children today what they are doing so look at your children the rubbish worse than animals worse than beasts of the field what the beasts don't do your children are doing God will not question Adam neither shall the father be the image of the son the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him meaning the good thing the good man does he will get its fruits its rewards its benefits and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him if the wicked man does wicked things he gets punishment for it but if the wicked the salvation how do you get salvation one thing is sin is not inherited in this verse if it is the book of god if this is the word of god god is telling you in the clearest language the sin is not inherited you don't pay for your father Adam's sins nor will he pay for your sins and the way of salvation he says if this is the word of God Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20 
said, if the wicked will turn, means repent, come back from all the sins that he has committed, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. We say that is Islam. It's there in the Bible, but we say that is Islam. This is what Islam teaches. But the Christian somehow is programmed to jump from Ezekiel with a phrase, with a phrase, and around the phrase he creates a religion to justify the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, let us examine the case, the case itself. The Holy Quran tells us, as the Qari read, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سَلَبُوهُ that they didn't kill him, Jesus. They didn't kill him, nor did they crucify him. But it was made to appear to them. So, that is what they thought they had done. And those who dispute about these things are full of doubts. They have no certain knowledge. They only follow conjecture, guesswork. وَمَا قَتَلُهُ يَقِينًا For the surety, they killed him not. Most emphatic, most dogmatic statement that one can make. And the only one who can make such statements is God himself. Because he knows what is involved, what is true, and what is not. So, the Quran says, they didn't kill him and they didn't crucify him. The Christian, on the other hand, he says, look, we have a written record. How can a man a thousand years in time from the happening and six, 600 years in time and a thousand miles away in distance, how can he tell you what happened in Jerusalem some 600 years before? The Muslim reasons that this is God Almighty inspiring Muhammad to say the things that Muhammad is made to say and to have it recorded the way it is recorded. The Christian says, I do not believe in the Quran. If we had believed in the Quran, we would be today two billion Muslims. The Christians and the Muslims put together, both believing in Jesus, we both believe in Jesus, we would have been together. Two billion people who believe in Jesus and Muhammad and all that would have happened if the Christians believe in the Quran. But said, look, since we don't believe in the Quran, we go by what is given to us in our Bible. So the Holy Quran tells us, وَقَالُوا And they say, لَنْ يَدْخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُدًا أَبْ نَصَارًا That you Muslims will never, never enter Jannah. There's no heaven for you. There's no salvation for you. Unless you become a Jew or unless you become a Christian. In answer to that, God Almighty tells us in the Quran, said, Tilka amani yuhum, that this is the wishful thinking, vain desires, hallucination. We say, Bakwas, Barbara, don't get frightened. Kul. God Almighty tells us, Kul, tell them, say, say, tell them. How to Burhan? Produce your Burhan, your proof. In Kuntum Swadikin, if you're speaking the truth, let us have a look at your Burhan your record and the Christians have produced the Bible in 2,000 different languages. 2,000 different languages. He said, look, this is what my Bible says. My Bible says this, my Bible says that. My Bible says this, my Bible says that. Allah is commanding the Muslim to demand proof. It presupposes that when proof is produced, you'll be able to analyze it. Otherwise, it makes no sense. You ask him, where's your certificate? Where is your identity? Where is your passport? The passport controller. So, in other words, the passport controller knows that what you're going to produce, what does a passport look like, and whether it is genuine or not, he will be able to analyze it. Similarly, the Muslim is expected to analyze his book. Ha tu burhanatun. Produce your burhan, your proof, in kuntum swati gain. So the Christians has produced his proof. He says, you see, we are told in the Gospel of Matthew, in the Gospel of Mark, in the Gospel of Luke, in the Gospel of St. John, that Christ died and he was resurrected after three days. This is the book. This is the authorized King James Version of the Bible, printed by the Christian. Authorized King James Version of the Bible. This is what they call the Red Letter Bible. Red Letter Bible. This one. Red Letter Bible. 
meaning everything that Jesus spoke is in red in this book. I might just share with you that only 10% of the 27 books of the New Testament are in red, only 10%. I mean, 90% are black. I mean, not one word of Jesus, not even a red dot is to be found in this 90% of the Bible. With regards to the Gospels, we Muslims, we say that you see, there are, as the Christians claim, 20, they have discovered 24,000 different manuscripts of the Bible. 24,000 manuscripts of the New Testament they have at their disposal. But they also confess that no two are identical. Can you imagine? 24,000 books to support your book.